Good morning. Oh my word, it's so beautiful. So beautiful here. <sighs> what a sat hat here. With my morning cup of tea. I'm in my pyjamas, nobody can see me. So I've been working on my second sock of my Stephen West. So I'm doing the left um, sock, excuse for... Oh, that's my finger, sorry. Um, I'm doing the left sock now. So, whereas they're all going... That's going to my right and they're going to my left. But they'll be opposite, won't they? Yes, I think so. Yeah. Oh, beautiful. I'd like to take you for a walk around the garden. It is just idyllic. So we're just sitting here, enjoying, yeah, enjoying the nature and the peace and quiet and the beautiful, beautiful September sunshine. I was hoping to get a um, view of the church. It's just beautiful, isn't it? Burial thing, isn't it?
Hello. Oh, let me show you the lovely cows. I was trying to catch them the other side of the road. Aren't they beautiful? <laughs> oh. Or is that better? Is that better view? Let me see if I can um, catch Oh yeah, this is a lot better than trying to peek through the fields. Oh look! Aren't they beautiful? <laughs> oh. oh my word, we've just um, yeah, walked up from our little holiday, holiday home. Um, about half hour, 40 minutes and uh, it's just so beautiful it is Indian summer in September I was about to say in England in Wales it's a beautiful um, little place that we've come to in the middle of uh, nowhere which is just as we like it so we've walked up for Sunday lunch oh my word I've got this on I've dressed for yeah autumn when we went away last year it rains a lot which we weren't that bothered about um, because we were away for our wedding anniversary and it poured with rain in 2000 I hadn't told you I'm a millennium bride or I was um, yeah oh my word the whole heavens the whole world I think opened um, and showered down on uh, Mr Jacks and I um, if I was a certain kind of person I might have thought it was a sign but 23 years later we're still going strong I'm talking about where we're going when uh, we reach the 25 year milestone. So we just walked to a local pub. I think it was five stars. I thought it was four. It was five. They evidently were recommended. Uh, they do an amazing roast dinner. So we have <laughs> just been, I've had oh, the hugest roast beef dinner. I think that has to be my favourite, followed by a roast chicken dinner. What's yours? It's got to have roast beef, it's got to have a decent gravy, it's got to have scrummy roast potatoes and Yorkshire pudding and a nice selection of vegetables, which this did. The only thing was boiled parsnip. I'm not that keen. I like mine roasted, drizzled with a little bit of honey. Uh, Mr. Jack's had roast pork, his favourite is roast pork. So yeah, and Oh, it was huge. There was four huge pieces of roast beef on my plate. And I just couldn't. I had two and that was it. I was really struggling. Um, and I managed two thirds of my Yorkshire pudding and one and a half of my potatoes. I've never had some vegetables. But we didn't have dessert because we are just so full. Even Mr Jacks was uh, struggling. So we are going to go back to Holiday Cottage. Um, what's on the agenda this afternoon? I think we'll go for a sleep after that dinner. <laughs> um, and yeah, I'm making good progress on my projects. Um, I'm not, you know, crossing all the time, but that's nice. We sat and watched on the TV, had a couple on the couch, which was really nice because normally the doggies are on Mr. Jack's and I can't get near him. So he had nobody else to cuddle, so I've got to cuddle. We're watching. Um, Oh crumbs. Paul Whitehouse and Bob Mortimer gone fishing, I think it's called. I'm not into fishing, but I am really enjoying it. I'm enjoying their friendship. Bob Mortimer had triple heart bypass surgery. This, this is pre-COVID and Paul Whitehouse had um, stents fitted. And it's a really good programme to watch because you see two friends just chatting and laughing. They've been friends for over 30 years. And um, yeah, just the banter between the two of them and how different males are. Um, oh, how different male conversation is to women. So this is good for my husband to watch this as well. And any men out there, give the program um, a watch. Yeah, it's good for male mental health and they have some special guests sometimes not all the time um so i think we're in i think we're up to 2020 where 
Paul Whitehouse, I think it was only, only fools and horses. Um, and they have some, some doctors and specialists and whatever that come and they talk about their concerns. And I think they're late 50s, early 60s. So the scenery is beautiful. Oh my word, they go all over the country. Absolutely stunning. Yeah, we live in such a beautiful country in the United Kingdom. We really do. Wales is wow, where we are now. It's stunning. It's so... I'm going to use the word I hate. <laughs> Lush. It's so green and fresh. And oh my word, it's so hot. Um, yeah, I've got my um, florally dress. Can you see? Oh. <laughs> Sorry if I made you sick. Feel sick. Right, I'm going to stop talking now. And, uh, yeah, start walking up this hill. I'm so unfit. So unfit. Right, Mr. Jack said to me, if you get run over, I'll be really cross. <laughs> he wants me to walk behind him. Right, there I go. Hello. Oh. <laughs> it's um, Sunday afternoon, the second day of a holiday. We have just come back from the most glorious walk and Sunday lunch. It was just lovely. So you'll have seen the um, footage before. And I think roughly we worked off 5,000 steps there and back. So, yeah, fair distance. So 40 minutes there and 40 minutes back. So we're both knackered now. And it is so hot. It's glorious outside. Absolutely glorious. Always away, rains all summer holidays. As soon as the kids go back to school, it's beautiful sunshine. It'd be lovely to have um, an Indian summer in September. Now, like many crafters, go away, especially if you're self catering, you can take whatever you want and just leave it. I bought tons and tons of stuff thinking that it was going to rain and we'd be inside, you know, and I'd be quite happy because I could just, you know, go off and do a little bit. Um, I think we're just both tired, both tired, and we just needed a uh, rest um, and some chill time. So last night I didn't pick up any knitting. Would you believe that is unheard of of me? I've normally um, got something in my hand. Now one of the projects I bought brought with me and I showed you yesterday um, was my Stephen West sock look at it in all its glory oh my word it's beautiful quite controversial i think and the reason that my first sock is still not being kitchenered is because <laughs> i think i've done the toe well my way i was gonna say wrong but my way um you know sometimes when you like i do a lot of sock knitting and um i just thought all oh, right okay i do the toe and this oh yeah looks at it oh that's the rib okay but I need to have a look at the pattern. So I thought, right, hold your horses, wait till you finish the second sock, and if you have to take it back, you can um, take it back. I am a UK size five. It's just beautiful, just beautiful. Um, the yarn I'm using, hopefully I've got both full bands in my bag. I've got one, I've got two. The grey is Pewter from Ted Knits. That's that one, and it's lovely, absolutely lovely to um, work with. And the second one, I purchased this from Modern Yarn, and it's a local dyer, and it's Red Squirrel and June, and it's called Hibiscus and Harriet, and it's beautiful. Oh my word. And that won't be my first, last ball, of, last skein of yarn that I buy. <laughs> oh, I'm not used to walking. In this heat, Whew, I've got like the worst dress on. I think I thought it would be cool, but it isn't. And then, <coughs> something that's really made me laugh today. I phoned um, Benjamin before I left um, because he'd asked me if I could make him something. His birthday is the week we come back. Um, and I just thought I'd got another another week because I've totally underestimated how long it's going to take me as well because I'm going to make from four to five. So I'm not going to get that done in a week. But he you had know, asked me to make him something. We chose the wool together. So he chose he chose this, um, like an olive green. He loves green. And this is kind of, I'm getting low on my um, acrylic stash, which is fine. Because um, at first I bought anything and everything. Um, I think I must have gone on a workshop. 
and we use the Batik. So I think I bought some balls thinking, oh, I'll make Alfie and Freddie a jumper. But yeah, that, that didn't um, happen. So good job there was a third grandson, so I can use this for him. And this was my second pattern. The first pattern only went up to age two. So look at those beautiful cables and wash stitch. So I phoned him and asked him what he would want. I think his mum quite wanted him to have a jumper. But he said to me, Grandma, he goes, I like cardigans. I would like a cardigan, please. And there's two different styles. Oh, one's round neck and one's V-neck. Hmm, okay. No, it isn't. <laughs> They're both round neck and one's got a different collar. So I think, yeah, this is what we're going to do with a big collar. That's what he asked for. And I've just, so I cast this on yesterday, yesterday afternoon. And I was reading the pattern and the back, it's all in moss stitch. So I'm hoping that I can um, get the back cracked. So I cast it on. I couldn't find, when I was... Um, trying to sort out my needles I couldn't find my circular needle so I pulled out my good old straight needles and I've only been using circular needles probably in the last four or five years but I've got straight needles and how strange is that to knit on those does anybody still knit on straight needles or do you like straight needles for certain things I mean I do my DPNs on straight needles so yeah, that's the rib. And I'm thinking, oh my word, that's so big for him. It's 70, 77 stitches, I think. But the colour's beautiful and he will absolutely love it. It's supposed to be one by one rib, but I've done two by two, like a twisted rib. So I think that's going to knit up beautifully. So yeah, I'm quite happy with that. And this is living in my Hear It For The Boys bag. Oh, the lovely Kevin and Ray. Oh, do you know what? I'd love to pop in, have a cup of tea, or for them to pop over and have a cup of tea with me. Uh, they're two lovely um, podcasters. Yeah, they'd have a fit if I uh, knocked on their doorstep. <laughs> knocked on their door, rather. Oh, my word. They need to go and lie down. Right, that's it. I'm going to say goodbye today, and hopefully tomorrow. I think it might turn into a bit of a vloggy little series. I didn't intend to vlog while I was away. But it is just so beautiful here. Oh, my word. Yeah, we've been into an old-fashioned pub. I love a pub. Mr Jackson isn't so keen, so it's something that we might do on a Saturday. I don't go to pub all the time, unless I lived near the Rover's Return, and then I'd be in there two or three times a week. But I love going. I used to love going after work um, when I first started um, working. Um, when I worked in the solicitors, the, yeah, there was a big crowd of us that used to go, and I used to really like that. Um, and on a Saturday afternoon, I quite like a Saturday afternoon in the pub. Well, there's a few secrets there, isn't there? Well, I hope you're having a lovely Sunday, um, wherever you are. Look at the state of me. It's the exercise, no good for you. <laughs> Messes with your hair. Right, see you in the morning, or see you tomorrow rather. So have a nice Sunday, have a nice weekend. I'll speak to you soon. Bye.